Hey, Keelan, after the shoulder workout, how about a beautiful sunset cruise oh, here in Hawaii? That sounds great, Laurie. All right, right after the shoulder segment, okay, we that's can right. maybe get out there. <laughs> well, you know, Laurie, I just wanted to um, make a point. When I started weight training, I didn't think about training my shoulders. And I was hoping that you can um, tell the people at home what are the benefits of training your shoulders. Well, Keelan, training your shoulders is part of your overall look that you have with the shape of your body. And people go into the gym, they just think, well, I have this trouble spot or that trouble spot, so that's all I'm going to train. What they don't realize is that the more lean muscle mass that you have throughout your body, the better your metabolism is going to be, the more efficient your body is going to work, and the better you're going to feel. That's right. So it's important not just to train at trouble spots, but to train every part of your body. And I can feel my shoulders already working. How's my form, Lori? Your form looks great. Now, okay. we've turned the angle of this so that they're parallel, right so it looks a little bit different. Good. And okay. Then one Should more and one more it? and then uh, no, I just okay. wanted to show that it was parallel as opposed to how we normally do them facing. Whew. All right, I'm gonna let you get in there now. Mm. It's again just one of those variations we want to try and I'm gonna in there. just move your hair so everyone at home could see your shoulders. Okay, so normally a lot of times we do see the dumbbell presses like this. So all we did this time is you had them turn towards you and you were pressing straight up. Now is that going to hit a different area of the muscle or is it the same? area. It's just more of a certain angle. Okay. Anytime you're doing a dumbbell press or a shoulder press using the bar, you're working all three of your front, medial, and rear delt. But this way it's just a little bit different. We have a little bit of an angle going here. Whew. Well, you look great, Laurie. I can feel these. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we can really see your shoulders working, too. One more. Okay. It's so amazing when you haven't done an exercise for a while, just like we were doing the chest exercises, Danielle and I were, the ones that I hadn't done for a while. Oh, my gosh, as soon as you finish, you can definitely feel it. You can feel them working. Okay, so here again, we have a little bit of a different exercise, right and there. we're going to be working, actually, the middle part of the deltoid, but we're going to be doing it a little bit differently than we normally do. You're going to go ahead and let your arm hang behind you, and go ahead and put this arm up here so you'll be supporting your head, so you can rest your head on it. There you go. And lift it up. Good. So now the thing is, is the bottom part of the movement in your shoulder is the part that actually is a little bit harder. This is the, where the strength comes from. So can you feel that it feels a little feel bit it. different than is, is my is my range of motion correct? Should you, I be lifting? Yeah, you want to stretch down as far as you okay. can, and then come up so that your arm is actually parallel to okay. the floor. That's right. Okay. Good. Keep going. Let it stretch. Perfect. Looks good. Let it come all the way down. Now you're also going to be working a little bit of the rear delt because yeah. you are coming behind. I can feel that. I'm going to switch to the other side Perfect. because I can really feel it working. And I'll go ahead and make sure that on this side. And you know, for yeah. me, if you put your hand up here and, and support your head, that's just more comfortable. You got to kind of go with what's comfortable for you. That's important. That's like what we always say when you're in the exercise. You need to make sure that it fits your body and you're comfortable doing that's it. That's right. I'm just using a lightweight here, three pounds. The amazing thing with this exercise that I find is that even with a light weight, I can feel it immediately, and in actuality, I can't do that heavy of a weight. Really? No. You could... <laughs> I should have threw you in there with a five and see, because that's how I can actually do it. Oh, this feels great, Lori. This is a new exercise for me, but I think I have to let you in here because okay. it's burning. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and... Now, Lori, I know that you won Fitness, Fitness America, and I was wondering, because I do want to gain some more size. Um, so I was wondering if you can give me some tips on how you got ready for the contest and how you trained and... Well, actually, when I was training for that, I was working a lot with working heavier weights, I think, was mainly the thing that I was doing differently than what I do now. But that was at a point in time when I didn't have as much muscle as I did. Um, I, I think that... It kind of depends on what your goal is. I mean, obviously, your goal is a little bit different than mine. So. Right. Whew. Now, is your goal, do you still want to um, build some more muscle? No, I you... think I, what I'd like to do mostly is stay where I'm at and just kind of keep refining and toning from here. Okay, I think I'm going to switch sides. Okay. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I can, you can feel I that. I know. This is a great exercise. And it might not like look like we're doing that much weight, but you can really feel it burning. <laughs> So the thing with shoulders that I like to do is really stay exactly where the muscle that I'm working and just really concentrate on it. And like I said, because my goal right now is not really to gain more muscle size, 
and it's mostly to, to tone and refine, I try and stay really specific within the muscle that I'm working.